and welcome to Pixie's YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be about renting and this video actually has to do with a previous video that I just recently did and it was on my questions corner and it is about bullying. You can read it here. Now let's go ahead and jump right on into this. It's not waste anything or sugarcoat some words, you know, so be prepared. In my video, I received several questions that, uh, in response to, you know, dealing with bullying, coping, what we as parents should do, um, was I ever bullied? I answered all those questions in that video, and you can see it if you want. If not, I'm still not going to tell you. No, I'll tell you. <laughs> um, yes, I was bullied, and I talked about the ways that you could possibly, you know, come around to coping with them. So. Let's go ahead and get on to my rant about this uh, because it's a really, really touchy subject. It's, it's a difficult thing to deal with for a lot of people and I do not support it. I think people that bully other people are morons. They're complete and total imbeciles. They lack common sense and brain cells. Um, it, those of you that bully other people, I think you really need to take a good long look at yourself. You're not a good person. It doesn't make you cool. It doesn't make you smart or strong or better. It actually makes you stupid. It makes, it makes your life more difficult than you realize. And it makes the lives of the people that you bully, the victims, it makes their lives even worse. There's no good to be had when you bully somebody. None whatsoever. And if you think that it's fun to bully somebody, wait until somebody does it to you. You'll realize it's not as fun as you think it is. And the difference is now compared to when I was a kid and bullying happened. Kids these days, you guys don't know when to stop. Seriously, you don't know when to stop. When I was a kid, bullying was common, but it happened not as often as it does now. Um, we didn't have social media outlets. We did the bullying in school and everything like that. Um, and I say we because at one point in time in my life as a child, yes, I bullied somebody else. Um, it was in retaliation to being bullied, but you know, that's, that's not the way it should go. I know that now as an adult, that's not how it should have gone down, but I was a kid. I was immature. I was stupid. And I thought that's what I needed to do in order to protect myself. And I was wrong. And I learned that pretty quickly because as the tables got turned and I started getting bullied, I started to realize, yeah, that's no fun at all. You kids that bully other kids seriously need to stop. Um, when you take it on to social media outlets like Facebook and Twitter and whatever other social media thing you use, you're not only hurting that person, but you're hurting yourself because Unless the sites that they are on go down and nobody has ever taken a screenshot or printed it out on paper or keep it retained on a hard drive, it's always going to be there. And it's always going to resurface to haunt you later on, believe it or not. You see, because when we were kids, when I was a kid, bullying, it stopped when it got to a certain point. You kids don't stop. You kids keep going and going. And the suicide rate due to bullying has increased astronomically since I was a kid. Because when we were kids, our parents, if we did something wrong, our parents would punish us. You kids don't get the punishments that we used to get. Which I think is kind of stupid on the parents' part because if your child's hurting someone else's child, you really need to put your foot down, grab a belt, take it to the behind, 
You kids may not like it. You kids may scream, oh, that's abuse, that's abuse. Well, according to the government law, it is not abuse to spank your child. And that's exactly what these bullies need from their parents is more discipline. You see, when you take your hand and you whack it against their rear end, or you take away their computers or their cell phones or their cars or stuff like that, you know, you really give them a good punishment and you don't cave in, they'll turn into fine, upstanding adults. But the more you don't do that, the more you as parents slack off, the more they're going to get away with and the more they're going to do, and the more they're going to bully others. And if you're okay with your kid bullying somebody, then you must have been a bully yourself. And you kids may think, oh, it's wrong, it's wrong, it's not wrong. It's not wrong to discipline your child. We as parents have that right. Until you are 18 years old, you are your parent's property. When you turn 18, at least in the United States, when you turn 18, then you can become a legal adult responsible for your own actions. Until then, it's your parents' responsibility. Which means if you're bullying somebody, it's your parents' responsibility to stop you. And if they won't stop you, then who will? Because you're not going to stop. You kids don't know what the meaning of stop. You kids just keep going and going until somebody commits suicide. And then you laugh about it. See, when I was a kid, when it got to an extreme in cases of bullying, my parents would meet up, and the person that was doing the bullying got their butt whooped. But then again, also our parents back then also taught us to stand up for ourselves. So in a sense, we're a little stronger than some of the kids these days. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing, okay? For everybody that's a victim of being bullied, it's not your fault. You didn't do anything wrong. It's the idiot that's doing bullying because they don't know how to be. They don't have um, proper guidelines and, and regulations and, and rules in their lives to prevent them from doing things. As a victim myself, I'm going to tell the rest of you victims of bullying, um, it's not your fault. What they say and what they do, yes, it hurts. It can be crippling, but it's not who you are. You know who you are deep down inside. And for me, to get over my bullying, I fought back. And when I see bullying occur to this day still, I fight back. I step up and stand up for people that are being bullied. And I will continue to do that until the day I die. Because it's not good. It's not healthy. It's not nice, and I know it really ain't fun. Because the real people that you're hurting outside the victims are yourselves when you bully somebody. Because what are you going to do when you're no longer the bully, but the bully? Don't go crying to your friends. Your friends are the ones that are probably being the bullies to you now. Now you know how that person feels. But you have nobody. Because you burned your bridges. And for the victims, if they decide to befriend you and help you out after being bullied by you, you owe them a life debt. <laughs> you owe them a lot of gratitude. Now, I've seen it done on rare occasions, but, this, but, uh, but it has happened. Where a bully became a victim. And the victim that the bully originally bullied stood up for them. And then it went back to how it was before. 
which is generally the case. So, let me make this perfectly clear. If you're a bully, as far as I'm concerned, you don't deserve anything. You don't deserve the time of day to breathe the same air that we breathe. I'm not saying die, all bullies should die. I'm just saying you need to grow up. It doesn't make you smart. It doesn't make you cool. In fact, all it does is make you look like an idiot. Repeatedly. Repeatedly like an idiot. Now, for you victims, step up. Don't take it. Don't listen to my advice. <laughs> no. Um, talk to your parents. You may think, oh, what do they know? Or, I don't want to talk to my parents. Or, they'll call, or, or it'll get worse. Well, it's always going to be worse until you start doing something. If you need support, there is support for you in many aspects. There's your parents, there's your close, real friends, there's your, there's counselors, school administrators. You can always talk to somebody. And if you are a bully and you realize you're a bully and you kind of want to stop but you don't know how, just stop. Go talk to somebody. Bullying will get you nowhere. It's absolutely pointless. It does not help you succeed. And it will be your ultimate downfall. So, down with bullying. And up with discipline. Parents, you really need to step up your game. All of us all of us we need to step up our game to stop our kids to protect our kids they're our future we can't if we can't correct them before they become adults what's the what's our future going to be like take these words into consideration think about it do whatever you want ignore this for all i care either way Bullying has to stop. It really does. To so pay it forward. Help somebody that's either a victim of bullying or help a bully stop being a bully. Pay it forward. Bye.